All right, so a new day. I've just left the uh, suburbs of Besançon and I'm heading down towards the river now. Uh, it's probably gonna be the wettest day ever that I've cycled, uh, the wettest day on this trip certainly. Uh, but I'm only going about 50, 60 K to Dole. Uh, so it shouldn't be too bad. Couple of hours on the river should be quite nice. So I'm gonna head off that way. Um, GoPro's in the bag because of the rain. GoPro's not very good in the wet, despite what they tell you. Uh, and be using the iPhone today. So yeah, I'll do what I can. Okay, so I'm part way along uh, where I need to be going to get to the river. I've just found the river and I found this bridge. I'm just gonna get the GoPro out because I quite like having it on the handlebars and actually the rain that was, uh, was happening up the hill there isn't happening here. So yeah, I'm gonna get the GoPro out and try and use that today as well. So I've got the GoPro out and I'll put it on the handlebars. This is how I like to use it on the handlebars, just in this little chuck bucket. I can pick it up, use it, switch it on, talk to it and put it back again when I've finished. But it's just started raining again now. So um, yeah, I think I'm just going to persevere with it. I, if it if it craps out, it craps out. There we are. Can't do much about that. It's an actionless action camera. Anyway, onwards. All right, I've lost the road now and I'm making my way along the cycle path on the left-hand side of the canal cut. The river's over there to the right. No one else around this morning. It's very, very wet. But great fun. I love this. I love riding along in the rain. Don't mind getting too wet. There are a few boats up here moored up next to this lock. They look really good. Especially the first one. Looks like uh, some amazing uh, liverboard thing. Really nice. Just notice the flags. There's no wind this morning, which is great fun. So this is clearly the place where all the cool people are. A Beetle and a 2CV parked up while their owners are on their boats. right bank now heading southwest again happy days there's a tunnel to somewhere it's not very long probably 50 meters perhaps through that through that rock and inside there's a whole load of sparkly fairy lights it looks fantastic it's a shame I can't cycle along it but there's a very small scramble way, but you can't get to it. I think it's just for boats. So, mystery solved. There's the other side of the tunnel. I had to cycle up and over that uh, lump of rock. It's quite nice. But now I can see a bit further ahead of me down the valley. All looks good.
So I've travelled the almost the entire length of the this river and canal system for the last couple of days or so and this is the first time I've actually seen someone using a lock uh, which is quite extraordinary really there's a lot of boats moored up but nobody's using it good to see though anything for a few kilometers because it was absolutely tipping it down but that's gone so yeah just making my way slowly but surely today just stopping quite a bit for some photos all right well that was slightly unexpected the uh euro velo 6 turned off of the canal and riverside came up that little slope my wahoo told me that was 10% at a couple of points so yeah my lowest gear there quite hard work but worth it I'm quite high up actually I can see as far as I can see into the distance is lower down than where I am so all good So yeah, this is quite a high little ridge line in this area. The road and the river are right down there. I can see where the river is by the line of the trees. My uh, GPS says keep going this way and then kind of bare left. So maybe go down to it again pretty soon actually. All right, so I just had to come down a hill over there uh, from that top ridge line and that is a hill I would not be riding up on that bike I just don't, simply don't have enough lower gears to go up that um, on that yeah on, on that bike uh, it's quite steep I think it must have been about like 12 14 percent but yeah you can do it really but not on that bike I'd have to push that up there but that doesn't worry me because I'm going that way towards Dole which is 16 kilometers away now Okay, so I'm just riding into Dole now, and this is more or less where today's ride ends. It's just about 51k from Besançon to Dole. The wind's got up a bit, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to ride into the town centre, find the place I'm staying, and uh, have a look around, have a bit of lunch. Yeah, we'll see what we can see later. I'm hoping to have a wander around the town certainly in the evening see what's going on but yeah altogether a good ride today quite pleased with that only 50k but that's all some people do in a day anyway so I'm happy so I just popped a decathlon in Dole to pump up my tyres and buy a couple of little spares and now I'm heading back to where I'm staying and this is what's going on well that was absolutely mental I'm entirely soaked now this is where I'm staying somewhere in here
All right, so I booked this little flat in Dole because I knew it was going to be raining, but it's absolutely tipping it down out there. So no camping tonight. I'm going to stay in this little flat, 38 euros. Camping was going to be 17.50. So yeah, all right, twice the price, but nothing's getting wet now, even though I'm absolutely drenched. So I'm going to just uh, chill out a bit and have a coffee at the coffee machine that's over there. Then I'm going to go and try and find uh, the local supermarket. Apparently there's a 24 hour supermarket somewhere in the city town. So I'm going to have a look for that. So yeah, all good. Right, so I'm out for a little walk around in Dole. It's uh, early evening really. And uh, yeah, the whole place is pretty much deserted. There's nobody here. There's a few cars milling around, but all of the independent places are closed. Nothing seems to be opening, perhaps until May, which is pretty bizarre, really. It's a bit of a shame as well, because it kind of ruins the place. The weather's not great, but I keep looking behind me, see who's around. Um, yeah, the weather's not great, but uh, yeah, one of those strange places really. Dole. It's probably lovely in the summer, but right now it's entirely deserted. <laughs> 